ஹலோ வெல்கம் பேக் டு லேர்ன் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் இன் டுடேஸ் டாபிக் வி ஆர் ஸ்டார்டிங் அ நியூ சாப்டர் தட் இஸ் ரே ஆப்டிக்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஃபார் கிளாஸ் டுவெல் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ அபவுட் ஆப்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல் வி லேர்ன் இன் அவர் ஸ்மால் கிளாஸஸ் ஆல்சோ ஃப்ரம் சிக்ஸ்த் ஆன்வர்ட்ஸ் யூ வில் பி ஸ்டடியிங் அபவுட் திஸ் ஆப்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல் and all those things uh, it's without derivation simply direct formulas and all we are learning here with formulas how the we are getting that formulas all those things we are studying here okay here in ray optics first we are going to study about reflection okay so here all the phenomena i will explain uh, it's a uh, uh, in nutshell i will be explaining all those things and for the detailed view if you want you can go through the uh, other topics that is in 10th standard and all reflection and refraction everything in detail i explained and the, i will be giving that also in the descri- description box okay you can watch those videos if you want any detailed uh, explanation okay so reflection means bouncing back of light ray is called a reflection so when light ray is passing from one medium to another medium and the light will be reflected back coming back to the same medium itself okay so if it is incidenting on an a medium it will reflect reflect back that is called it is coming back to the same medium itself that is called a reflection so if i am taking a mirror over here and light ray is incidenting over here it will reflect back okay for the reflection of light ray some laws are there what are the laws of reflection there are two laws of reflection first one incident ray reflected ray and the normal reflected ray and the normal and normal will be in the same plane that is the first law in the same plane next is angle of incidence will be equal to angle of reflection that is the second law so here while this is the incident ray and at the point of incidence at the point of incidence we can draw one normal normal means perpendicular to the surface okay perpendicular to the surface we can draw one normal over here that is at the point of incidence we will be drawing one normal okay so this angle made between the incident ray and the normal is called a angle of incidence and the angle between the normal and reflected ray is called a angle of reflection okay so incident ray reflected ray and incident angle reflected angle okay so the laws of reflection is incident ray reflected ray and the normal should be in the same plane angle of incidence will be equal to angle of reflection that is second law okay clear now we are going to consider about the spherical mirrors what are what is meant by spherical mirror spherical mirror means they will be forming a uh, it will be a part of sphere there are two types of spherical mirrors one is it is bent inwards that is it will be the reflected surf, surface will be bent inwards that is called a cone cave mirror okay so the mirror spherical mirror will be a part of a sphere in which if the reflected surface reflecting surface is bent inwards then we can say it is concave mirror and if the reflected surface is reflecting surface is bent outwards see if it is bending outwards then it is called as convex mirror okay so spherical mirrors mainly we are considering it as two types one is concave mirror and the other is convex mirror concave mirror means reflected surface will be bent inwards so this is the reflecting surface this is the non reflecting surface 
reflecting surfaces bent inwards then we can say it is concave mirror and the reflecting surface is bent outwards then we can say it is convex mirror okay so these are spherical mirrors in spherical mirrors i told you it is part of a sphere isn't it it is a part of a sphere and the center of that sphere from which mirror forms the part that is called as center of curvature okay center of the spherical center of the sphere from which this mirror forms a part that is called a center of curvature and the center of the spherical mirror is called a pole center of the spherical mirror is called a pole if we are drawing a line passing from c to p this is called a radius of curvature the cp is called a radius of curvature radius of curvature okay this is radius of curvature and this the reflecting surface this perpendicular this distance this part is called aperture okay that part is called that reflecting surface is called as aperture okay then in the case of concave mirror while i am considering the concave mirror so if i am drawing a straight line which is passing through the center of curvature and the pole this straight line is called as principal axis principal axis okay the straight line is called as principal axis so if i am drawing a principal axis like this see here this is the pole p and this is the center of curvature c okay so this is the radius of curvature here when how we can see how the image will be forming and from infinity if the light rays are passing through the um, Uh, from infinity if the light ray is falling on the mirrors what will happen see from the infinity when we are considering we will consider those as parallel rays so the light ray which is passing parallel to the principal axis okay if the light ray is passing parallel to the principal axis then what will happen after reflection it will converge to one point see if this parallel ray it will be passing through one point so it will be converging to a single point that is it is parallel rays are coming and after reflection what will happen it will join at one single point that point is called a principal focus the rays which are passing parallel to the principal axis after reflection converging to that point that is called a principal focus okay then this distance is called as principal focus to pole this distance is called as focal length okay this is in the case of a concave mirror in the case of concave mirror this distance f to p that distance is called a focal length okay so this it will be converging to a one point and that distance is f to p that distance is called a focal length now so this the, all these are uh, the preliminary portions of this optics part okay and this and all you would have studied in small classes also and the in 10 the for 10 the cbse syllabus i have given a detailed explanation of all these things and all those details i'll be giving in the uh, description box also okay if you have any doubt you can check out that videos okay so now we are going to derive a relation connecting focal length and the radius of curvature okay derive a relationship connecting focal length and radius of curvature okay so relation between f and r f is the focal length and r is the radius of curvature so here i am considering a concave mirror okay so if this is the concave mirror so this is the principal axis 
so i am considering a point p over here and this is f and this is c okay so some rules are there in the rays which are passing through the principal as uh, through this uh, towards this mirror some rules it should satisfy okay so the rays which are passing parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will pass through the principal focus that is one rule okay the rays which are passing parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will pass through the principal focus if the ray of light is incidenting through the center of curvature what will happen it will retrace its path okay that is another thing okay if this is making an angle theta what will be this angle see the ray two parallel rays and this is one ray and here if this is theta this also will be theta isn't it corresponding angles that one you know two parallel lines if this is theta and this also will be theta now see if this is theta see here we know as per laws of reflection angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection isn't it this is the normal to that ray so if this is theta this also will be theta okay clear so this is a ray parallel to it reflecting and this will be acting as a normal that will be the normal acting on it so if angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection that is i theta equals theta so these two are two theta okay now i am considering a b c f okay b c so now i can write it as let angle b c f i am considering it as theta then angle a b c will be equal to theta okay that is corresponding angles then now what we can consider as per laws of reflection laws of reflection angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection so i can write it as angle c b f that also will be equal to theta now you consider here two angles and line is like this this b f line this is b f line i am considering so what is this angle see this a to b this is the what is this angle 2 theta then what will be this angle b f p this angle also will be 2 theta isn't it so therefore we can write it as angle b f p equals 2 theta since it is corresponding angles okay so b f p equals 2 theta now i am going to consider two try see this is bd i am drawing bd perpendicular to it so bd will be nearly equal to bp isn't it because it is not that much bend is not, uh, not that much bend is not there so we can consider bp as nearly equal to bd now i am considering the triangle bdc this triangle i am considering i am writing tan theta what will be tan theta here opposite side divided by adjacent side so in the triangle bdc what is tan theta bd divided by cd okay and next i am considering the triangle bdf what is this tan 2 theta what is tan 2 theta here b opposite side divided by adjacent side ft so we know this theta angle will be very less so we can consider tan theta nearly equal to theta so what is theta theta will be equal to bd divided by cd what is here 2 theta that is equal to bd divided by fd okay so what is theta here from the equation bd divided by 2fd 
so i can equate the theta and both the sides right these are theta so i am equating the right hand side i will get it as bd divided by cd is equal to bd divided by 2fd 2fd so bd and bd will get cancelled so i'll get it as 2fd equals cd what is this fd fd this this distance is nearly equal to bp and since bd b see bd is fd now we should we require fd fd is nearly equal to fp so i can write it as 2 fp equals cd what is this fp distance fp distance is equal to 2 into this fp what is fp fp is the focus to pole focal length 2f so what is the cd or cp is equal to radius center of curvature to pole that is radius of curvature r so we are getting the equation like r is equal to 2f okay this is the first equation for relation connecting radius of curvature and focal length r equals 2f okay clear this is how we are finding out the first equation so clear all of you so i hope all of you understood all those things and i am winding up for today in next video so those who don't know the things that that, that is uh, initial things and all properly please check out the videos which is given in the description box afterwards next day i'll be starting with the mirror equation that derivation okay and one more thing you just try out for a convex lens how we will be proving this r is equal to 2f okay so there how we will be finding out focal length that also i uh, i had given okay so in concave lens means see concave mirror while we are considering the concave mirror the ray which is passing parallel to the principal axis what will happen it will reflect and go it will be reflecting and going like this okay so if we are extending that one we can see that point that is coming from one of the points in the principal axis so the ray which is passing parallel after reflection it will diverge and go that ray if we are extending it will be meeting at the point f okay so that is called a principal focus of a concave mirror so you try for that whether you are getting r is equal to 2f over there okay so in next video we will be coming with a mirror equation and i'll help you to do this also okay so uh, please find out the answer and be ready okay so thank you for watching and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe okay bye